Hey, it's James from Social Coach, and today I'm going to talk to you about how to deal with it when you go up to girls and they reject you. And I'm joined by um, catwalk model, sports model, and professional volleyball player Natalia. Hi, guys. And uh, swimsuit model, ballerina, and TV presenter Nevena. Hi, guys two of my awesome female trainers. Um, the first thing to point out is um, if you have the skills to approach women, touch, eye contact, uh, body language, and the ability to ask good open-ended questions, you don't actually get rejected that much. Guys who do the first evening session of my boot camp, a lot of them, in fact most of them sort of do 10-15 approaches and maybe you know only get rejected once or twice. Uh, a lot of guys don't even get rejected at all and oftentimes when you do get rejected it doesn't really hurt that much if you go up to women with a genuine desire to get to know them rather than to hit on them or give them some pickup line or be sleazy. But let's face it, it does happen sometimes and it can be very important to your self-esteem and the way all the other women in the location treat you um, by the way you handle it. So um, if you ladies could just, um, we're, we're having a private conversation, could you please just leave us alone? Uh, just reject me like that. I'm gonna go up and talk to girls. Hey guys, how are you doing? I'm James, what's your name? Oh sorry, we're just having a conversation. Um, yeah, thanks. Oh, okay. Uh, sorry, I didn't mean to trouble you. I didn't see you were so into each other, but um, yeah, I'll leave you guys alone. Maybe chat to you later on. Bye. So can you see what I've done there? Maybe not super smoothly, but I've gone up to the girls and they've rejected me in a you know, fairly firm, slightly harsh way. And rather than do what most guys do, oh, Oh, and get wounded and hurt and walk away all hunched over going, oh, fucking hot girls are bitches. Who does she think she is? Which doesn't make you feel any better. And it tells all the other girls in the room that they've rejected you, which means if you go try to talk to them, they're likely to reject you too. So rather than do that, uh, go away wounded and hurt and hate women, what you do is you don't let them hurt you. So what I did in this instance was I rightly or wrongly, when I walked up to them, they were facing each other. It could I should have maybe noticed they were, they were really into each other, so I sort of went, oh, I'm sorry, potentially acknowledged my mistake, which makes them feel a lot more charitable, sorry towards me, and then actually apologized for it. And if you noted the whole time I was apologizing, I was touching them. So, uh, and then I'm sorry, maybe I'll chat to you later. So as I walked away, they're probably thinking, oh, that was a little bit mean of me. Maybe we should have given that guy a chance. So I'm making them feel a little bit guilty. And the fact that I'm not wounded at all, oh, I'm sorry, my mistake. Um, yeah, didn't see you into each other. Maybe I'll chat to you later. They're going, oh my God, this is the most confident guy, certainly in Australia, America, England, all the wussy countries, maybe not Russia or Brazil or something. This is the most confident guy we have met who's rejected me in a long time. And I've actually had a professional model who did that to me, um, follow me around and ended up dating her just because I handled her initially rejecting me so well. So. Uh, yeah, very important if you do get rejected, not to not to like take it as a horrible wound to your soul and go away bitter. Um, don't let the girls know they've wounded you. In fact, make them feel a little bit guilty for rejecting you. And the other bonus of this is all the other girls in the bar will think, I know these guys and they're my friends. And oftentimes these would be the hottest girls in the bar. So the next girl I approach will be going, oh, he knows those two hot girls. I, I want to talk to him, possibly sleep with him. Uh, yes, yeah, so you're using the social proof of the hottest girls to, um, to make the rest of your night much better. Um, yeah, well, there you have it. How to handle rejection. And again, don't worry if you've got the touch eye contact question skills and body language, it doesn't actually happen that much, but when it does, now you know what to do with it. So um, yeah, hope you got a lot out of this. Uh, if you did, please hit like for this video and we'll keep making more. And uh, we'd love to read any of your comments and answer your questions down below. Uh, cheers for now, bye-bye.